So let's talk about um, testing of, uh, of devices. Um, we're going to be testing a diode here, but it could be anything. And we are going to put some number of amps through it. So we'll put some number of amps through it, and then we'll have a little voltmeter here. And we'll measure how many volts. So let's say we put in one amp. We'll measure the diode drop in volts at one amp, right? Um, or at one milliamp, or whatever it is, right? We're going to have a, we're going to have a voltmeter here. Now, um, this would be fine most of the time, but um, in certain circumstances, you will find that this is not a precise measurement. So if these wires are actually long, they have some known resistance, right? They will have some resistance. And so there will be a voltage drop. If you set a current through here, there'll be a voltage drop across these resistors. And that will, that will not be the same as the voltage drop across the, uh, across the diode. Measuring it here wouldn't, wouldn't be accurate depending on the length of these wires and how many amps. So you can imagine maybe if you had 10 amps going through here, you might have a lot of drop. Even though maybe you have nice wires, nice fat wires, even at 10 amps, these wires are going to be resistors and they will drop some voltage. So instead of putting your voltmeter here, you really want to put your voltmeter uh, right next to the part, right? You'd rather have your voltmeter, you'd rather have your voltmeter over here, right? And so um, that might not be very convenient. You, you, you don't have room for a voltmeter here. You need it, you need it way over here somewhere. Well, what you do is you, you take these wires, okay, and you bring them over to detect here, right? You don't need to move your meter, you just need to move the wires. You have to have a separate set of wires. So you have one set of wires that runs the part, and you have a separate set of wires that uh, measure the part. Now, you'll hear this called different things. You, 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 this might be a remote, remote sense, uh, a remote sense or a Kelvin contact. Kelvin contact. And the uh, Kel, I can, my writing is back, Kelvin. There we go, Kelvin. And um, so, you may have already you may have already discovered this on your own. You may have had uh, a amp a um, a DC bench meter, and you set the bench meter to twelve volts. And then when you come out with your DVM and you measure out in your circuit, you could, well, it's, it's only eleven point nine volts out here. Where, where that this thing said twelve volts, but this thing says eleven point nine. And if you go back to the banana jacks on the front of your DC meter, you'll measure twelve volts, and that's the drop in these wires. So it's sometimes really good to have heavy leads and sometimes it's okay to have light leads. So these leads here, okay, the one supplying this current, they need to be heavy wires, okay, if you don't want much voltage drop. Now these little sense wires, they can be little namby-pamby wires, right? They don't have to, they don't have to be, they, they're not going to have any current, they're just going to be measuring voltage. So these can be little wires, but these, these needs to be big wires, right? All right, so let's go ahead and show you uh, how you could get in trouble if you if you didn't uh, account for this and what we're going to do is we're going to measure a diode and it's a nice big fat diode this is probably a 5 amp diode okay I would guess this is probably good for 5 amps so let's go over to the uh, curve tracer and take a look all right so um, I have a couple uh, short wires here for my test because we're going to put in, be putting in uh, up to 5 amps I have these nice stout wires now these are 14 gauge wires and so I will connect the uh, the device under test with these with these 14 gauge wires. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and show that on the uh, on the screen here. I will kill the room lights here so we can see it better. All right, okay. I've killed the room lights, and um, we can see that vertically we're at one amp per division. So one, two, three, four. We're at four amps vertically. And we're at one volt horizontally, okay? So we're dropping about a volt at, uh, at four amps, okay? And you say, okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so um, 
we are measuring the voltage somewhere in the instrument. We're not measuring it here, we're measuring it somewhere in the instrument. And the place that we're measuring it is, is about down right, down right here. And so there's some, some wires until you get up to here, okay? But let's put our own sense wires. And so uh, this instrument allows me to have sense wires connected. So I'm gonna put in some sense wires right here and they will be on these. So I will put a sense right here and I'll put a sense right here. So I'm gonna be measuring the voltage right at the diode, okay? And that's what will, will be displayed. We'll, we'll have the same sourcing, but we will be sensing in a different spot, okay? And so let's go ahead and turn that on. Let me kill the room lights again. And you can see that the picture looks much, much different, okay? Um, and so if you remember before, um, it was way over here at one volt when we were at four. So this is one amp, two amp, three amp, four amps. We're only at uh, 0.78 volts now, uh, much, much lower. And that's because we have those sense wires. I'll remove, I'll remove the ground sense wire. And now I'll remove the uh, source sense wire. You can see it came way over here. And so by adding those sense wires, we remove all of that voltage drop in the measurement. Now we can actually run this all the way up to 10 amps here. It's not, it's, this diode probably only has heat sinking capability for five amps where it is right now. Um, but short, short measurements, we can go up to 10 amps just to try it. Uh, and I'll, I'll reach down here and yep, it's getting warm. It's getting warm. So I'll, I'll bring it back down again. All right. So, um, you, you have to make sure you're aware of this voltage drop problem, right? Now this particular test fixture right here has the sense wires hooked up to it. These are the source wires and these are the sense wires. So how do the sense wires go in here? Well, there's uh, these two pieces of metal where you slide the, uh, the device under test in this little V. And one of these is a source and one of these is a sense. So the, the part, uh, spans that gap. Okay, so let's take the uh, let's take the part out from where we had it. So hopefully you can see this. So when I drop in the part into the test fixture, okay, it's separating those two uh, metal contacts. And so source is on the left, sense is on the right. Over here, source is on the left, sense is on the right. So this does the same thing as what we had over here. Okay. And now if I use this uh, to do our measurements, uh, I think you can see that it's, uh, let me kill the room lights again, uh, that it's acting, acting like it did before with having the, uh, the sense wires in there, right? We'll go up here, uh, one, two, three, four. And we were in the, uh, we we're on the same spot. We're right about uh, point, 0 0.78, 0 0.78 volts. All right, and in case you didn't understand my description, uh, that test fixture uh, has one has one contact that looks like this and one contact that looks like this. And this one goes over to source, and this one goes over to sense. And um, when you push your wire in there, it spans that gap. And so uh, the source is being uh, applied to the, to the left hand side and the, and the sense is applied to the right hand side. So you, your measurement is happening right here. Okay. And so it, uh, it fixes all of those problems. So anyway, when you're measuring high current things, uh, you need to be aware of this, even sometimes in very low, um, uh, current situations, it's really, really important to have this, um, to have this uh, Kelvin contact. You might run across it in, in uh, voltmeters when you're trying to measure very, very low ohms, like 0 0.01 ohms. Uh, it's very difficult to measure 0 0.01 ohms without having what's called this Kelvin contact or a, a four wire contact also. Uh, four wire, you'll, you'll, hear it called, you'll hear it called that as well. So remote sense, Kelvin contact, four wire uh, measurement, uh, source sense, uh, yeah, all of those things are the same thing where you're making a remote measurement.